once you've placed the grid and you've repositioned everything, you've adjusted all the, all, you've desaturated the image, you've adjusted the contrast to where, where you like it just right, now's the most important step where you save it. We're going to save it in two places, one on your computer and two in Pixlr itself. Right over here on the bottom right, you'll see a button that says save, okay? Click that button. And over here, you want to click download. You can select a place on your computer where you'd like to save this, okay? Click save. You can close this. You can also save this image without the grid line, okay? Go over to the layer. It should be the top layer where your grid is. And this checkbox, right now it's set to visible. Click on it and it'll be invisible. You could toggle that on and off, okay? You can now save this artifact photo without the grid line, okay, by clicking on the Save button on the bottom right. Click Download. And then you can click Save once more. You can adjust the file name so that you can say your first and last name artifact photo without grid. Click Save. Now both of those files are saved onto your computer. Okay. Next, we want to save it onto Pixlr itself. Very important you do this. Click the Home button on the top left. Over here, this is going to show up as one of your active projects. Click the Pin button. It's this heart-shaped button. That's going to go in your Pin projects so that when you um, return to Pixlr.com and type it into your browser again, you're going to see this project. You can open it up again. You can manipulate the grid, turn layers on and off, and you can even make further adjustments if need be to the amount of brightness in your photo, the amount of contrast, whatever, whatever you might need to create a better reference image for yourself, okay?